Today I'm kind of messing with the accelerator pedal. I've removed the clutch pedal. I've removed the accelerator pedal. We have the factory brake pedal. This is the GM Performance pedal that I ordered. This part had one, two mounting holes, which were here and here. But whenever I put, now if you see, I've, I've moved one hole out and put in some spacers because there was a clearance here for a, a part, uh, an extrusion. But anyways, so whenever I put it up here on the surface, the pedal almost pointed straight down into the floor. It was way down here. So I swung it out, drilled a new hole, put in some spacers. I'm going to affix it there so that the brake and the accelerator pedal are at the same plane here. So I just need to figure out how to get it mounted. I may have to put in some spacers or make a little bracket, but I'll update on that in a moment and uh, show how we're doing. So I ran into another little problem with the throttle pedal. Again, it's it's angled, but they put a rib in the plate for strength. Well, now it doesn't sit flat on any plane. And if you also notice, there's an offset. So I have two brackets recessed. I have a rib to get around, so I decided to build some spacers. Inserts in. Screws in one, two, three. We got a little side to side wobble. I think that'll be okay though. But here's the new problem. We need to move this back down to be on the same plane. So what we'll do is remove this bolt swing it down, remark it, and drill a new hole. All right, so I uh, kind of changed my mind here on where exactly the pedal should seat. So I went back to the stock position with the three holes, one, two, three bolts, and the accelerator can come all the way down and not hit. Now it does sit two inches below the brake pedal, but I can get on the brake pedal. And then I still have an accelerator, which is a short throw. But it's bolted up, it's stable, and I'm happy with it. And I can plug in right here.